you and Prodigy. What was the issue between both of y'all? Oh, well, with Prodigy was he went on I shot you after I did my verse and he says some God bless the dead he says some guilty niggas feeling guilty about some spacious he cause he meant cause I was the Philly Burn King and Red Man was uh smoke good all the time and he was like I don't give a fuck about niggas smoking weed and all of that and he said niggas feeling guilty about some space I had cosmic slop like the universe talking about aliens and smoking blunts with the aliens and red men and then and Eric brought it to my attention and he said it on that record that you know you feeling guilty about some space shit you was first baby girl so just face it and then Havoc was like and I seen him and Havoc was like yo Murray we're not talking about you uh, we can go to Hot 97 and we can squash it. I said, well, it ain't really no beef. It ain't really no beef like that, like that. But then, you know, we Prodigy was going at it with it. And then at the Apollo with LL Cool J, I said, yo, if he say that part, I'ma grab him and I'ma take him, I'ma take him, I'ma kick him off that stage. And LL said, yo, Prodigy was standing, I was here. LL was here, Prodigy was there. And he, LL was like, yo, it's like millions of people watching Murray, you know, just relax, don't do it. So I, we was on the stage, if you look at the, you can punch it up. I did the LOD roll on stage and I did my thing. And then I don't know if he did it or not. Something, he said it or not, but something went on. But yeah, he was coming at us. And then um, at the tunnel, me, God bless the dead, A plus, Skippy, and Axe, and Horse, was in the bathroom, Fat Joe was there, Prodigy was there, and then, um, plus was like, look at Prodigy, and then, he was like, what? What? And then, and then Fat Joe, and I was like, what? And then plus was like, what? And then eventually happened, we all left at the same time out of the tunnel. So we was at the corner. And his man, God bless the good day, twin was like, yeah, it's time. It's time. And we was looking at each other. They was looking at each other. So I was like, it's time, time. We thought they were saying it's time to get busy. So Skippy snuffed one of them. Wow. He snuffed Prodigy, I think. No twin. I kind of, kind of, kind of, kind of can't remember, but he Skippy snuck one of them. A plus snuck one of them. I snuck one of them. And then uh, I think I snuffed Prodigy. And then um, Axe and uh, Wink was one of them was beating the uh, twin under the car and Trigger the Gambler was there beating one on the car and the cops was like yo take it around the corner and I was chasing Prodigy brought foot chasing chasing trying to catch him to bring him back to the fight right and the cops was like yo take it around the corner take it around the corner so and then Prodigy was like yeah I was gonna go get the gun I was wanting to go get the gun but whatever whatever like that and then Capone, I saw Capone, no, Busta Rhymes. I saw Capone one time. Capone was in Queens, I called Capone, we had an issue, but then we squashed it in. Busta Rhymes was the one who was in Jones Beach. And I was there, and Prodigy was there. And then I was backstage, and Busta Rhymes brought us together. And then we took a picture. And then his, no, his man, one of Prodigy mans is like, yo, he back here. I went back there. And then we took the picture and Buster Rhymes was there. We took the picture and then um, his man got us on the phone and then we was about to do something. And then we squashed the beef and Prodigy was like, yo, 
Murray, we was young. I was young, 25, 20, and we was just wilding. I was like, yeah, you right, you right, you right. Then we squashed it, and then they went to Vegas or something, and then I heard he had ate an egg and regurgitated it, and then he died. So I was like, I'm glad that me and Prodigy squashed our beef before he died.